This video is a brief introduction to color schemes. The first one we're going to talk about is complementary colors, and they are directly across from each other on the color wheel. They're the most common type of color scheme and the easiest to create once you understand the basics of color. Uh, you can begin to manipulate them by using different proportions of the color, um, not necessarily doing a 50-50 split between each. The second type of common color is analogous color. And these are any three colors that are directly next to each other on the color wheel. It creates an immediate sense of unity and balance, and it is a very limited color scheme. It's good when you really need to create a image that seems put together. Monochromatic is exactly as it sounds. It's one color, and you begin to manipulate the saturation and value instead of manipulating hue. Um, another one is the triad. It's pretty common. Any triangle you make on the color wheel uh, will be a triadic um, scheme. You, you'll notice that the primary and secondary colors are both triads. The split complementary color scheme isn't quite as common, but what you do is you pick a complement and then you don't use the direct complement, you use the colors that are next to it instead. Um, Another one that's less common is the double complementary color scheme, and it's where you choose two sets of complementary colors, and it creates images that are a little bit out there and seem to be a little bit spacey or strange. A discordant color scheme is increasingly common in the fashion industry because these colors seem to vibrate next to each other, and they're ones that don't quite have an exact color relationship. For instance, red and blue, or blue-violet and uh, green, and yellow orange or orange have a discordant color relationship. Now, color schemes begin to get interesting when you figure out how to manipulate them. Take one basic complementary color scheme. You can vary the proportion by surrounding a little bit of one color with a lot of another color or using just a little bit of, of the alternating color. Another thing you can do is manipulate the value. You can make them darker or lighter and that changes the feel of your color scheme completely. You'll notice the difference between the two swatches in the video. Um, you can also manipulate the saturation by increasing or decreasing saturation. Um, and that changes, that changes the view from being something that's bright and in your face to something that sits back a little bit further, even though you haven't manipulated anything but the saturation. And within that, you can still vary the hue just a little bit. So the type of yellow and the type of violet in this case can shift enough to make it a bit different and a bit more interesting.